I'm Chris Bright and I'm a foodie. Today I'm going to show you a recipe that's very similar to the other one we just did, stuffed artichokes. We're doing stuffed mushrooms. Now what you want to get is you want to get some really big ones and um, you want to try to pull that cap right out of there. Take, take the cap and put it in your cooking dish. Now we have the stems, which we're going to chop up and we're going to use for the stuffing. And the stuffing for this is very, very similar to the stuffed artichokes, but I'm adding one special ingredient. Bacon! That's right. Some people make these with sausage, and that's great. Um, I think they taste delicious. I want to try something a little different. So I threw my own take down on this, and we're going to have my own special recipe today. Okay, now you have the stems, and what you want to do is you want to chop these fairly fine. And because we're going to uh, saute these stems with the bacon before we add it to the stuffing mixture. Um, yesterday I was talking about Parmigiano Reggiano. And some of you might say, oh well, I don't have a Whole Foods, they always have it. Um, in my town and blah 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 blah. I went to the local supermarket, just a regular supermarket, and here we go. Parmigiano Reggiano. And you know it's the real deal, okay? And it's not any more expensive for this than it was at Whole Foods. Yes, I would rather have Whole Foods because they cut nice big chunks like this one. Um, but if you can't get that, you can always just look. Don't buy Parmesan with the S. That's not. That's not even real cheese. That's I don't know what that is. That's garbage. Anyway, so also. Uh, at my local supermarket, they have a meat department, and I just got six slices of bacon, and I'm going to cut them fairly uh, small here because I don't want huge bits. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Basically, you just you just want to uh, have smaller pieces of bacon, so you you know, I mean. You're not just eating a whole slice of bacon inside one of those mushroom caps. Now what we want to do is we want to start the stuffing mixture. I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil. I mean a really little bit. We just need it to get the bacon frying. And then turn the heat on. And I'm going to dump the bacon in. That's already been chopped. And now we're going to saute the bacon. And it's going to take a few minutes to saute. We have the bacon getting crispy, and now I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. Uh, I only got eight mushroom caps, so I'll probably do eh, three or four of these. Let's see how, how much we get out of them. I just want to get that garlic sauteed with the bacon. That's two. That isn't very much. <laughs> I'm Italian. I like a lot of garlic. You don't like it, don't use as much. Also, if you wanted to, you could use pancetta instead of bacon here in this. Um, basically, the only difference is bacon smoked and pancetta is not. It's the same exact cut of meat. Okay, 
So now I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. Bacon's starting to get nice and caramelized. Now I'm going to throw the mushroom stems in because we want to saute those as well. And, and the idea is we don't have to cook this all the way through. We just want to get it browned and nice and caramelized so it'll add a little something. If we didn't do this, it would just be, you'd have raw pieces of bacon. That's not going to be good. Um, your garlic would not be sauteed and that's fine but the most important thing is the mushrooms too. A lot of umami in the mushrooms so we definitely want to bring that out by sauteing them. And this looks to be just about done. Let's uh, have a peek here. That's just about ready. Might need just another minute or so on that. And then we're going to let it cool down. Now I'm going to finish the stuffing mixture, stuff the mushrooms, and into the oven they go. So now we have the bacon and the mushroom pieces and the garlic all cooled down. And I have grated some Parmigiano Reggiano, just like we did with the stuffed artichokes. And so what I want to do is I'm going to add the bacon, mushroom, and garlic mixture to the cheese, thusly. And that's my dog Brian misbehaving in the backyard. Gee thanks Brian, make some noise. There he goes. Okay, so now we're going to add some breadcrumbs. We don't need quite as much as we did for the artichokes. I mean, we only have eight mushrooms to stuff, so I'm going to probably put about a half a cup of the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, and then I'm going to add about the same as with panko because I want I want that body, I want that texture. And there we go. Now I'm going to mix this all up, and if you notice. We're not going to need that much, if any, olive oil here because we already have the bacon fat and a little bit of olive oil that we use to saute the bacon and the mushroom mixture. And quite frankly, I think I think we need some more breadcrumbs. So let me add, let me add some uh, seasoned Italian. I got I bought backup backup Italian just in case I ran out. All right, let's see what we got here. And again, the texture that you're going to want is clumpage. You're going to want it to kind of stick together like that. That's, And then we're going to fill the mushroom caps with the stuffing mixture. So I like to pick up the cap and just kind of shove this stuff in and man, does that look good. It's going to be so delicious. What I do is um, I will take a little bit of olive oil and put it in the bottom of the baking pan. Oh, I, oh, I did forget one thing. I forgot. I forgot the parsley, which I need to put in here. So, <laughs> let me do these up right. <laughs> That's okay, I only got, I only had two of them. And I like the parsley because, first of all, you need green in every meal that you eat. Eat something green, people! I mean, really, green vegetables are good for you. And also, I like the flavor. Okay, so now I got the parsley mixed in, so now we're going to fill the mushroom caps. And there you 
have it. And trust me, these are so good. Oh my God, are these good. You're gonna wanna make them yourself. One thing that I find kind of amazing is usually I'll have just enough stuffing to fill whatever I'm doing. And in this instance, no different. I remember these when I was a little kid and we go over to our grandparents house and they would make these, oh boy. They were just so delicious. And of course, you got to make them yourself, right? Okay, there we go. Now they're going to go into the oven. Now usually I would do these a little bit hotter, but I have other things in the oven. And I'm going to put them in a 350 oven and I'm going to check them after about 20-25 minutes and we'll see how that goes from there. What we want to do is we want to get the tops nice and crispy and golden brown and delicious. In they go. And we'll see you in 20 minutes. And so now let's check on them and see. Oh, they look real good. They're done. I'm going to plate them. That one landed upside down. That's all right. I'll just flip it back over. So I hope you try these stuffed mushrooms at your house. Manja. Mmm.